I became a missionary right out of high school. It was something that I wanted to do just for 18 months before going off to college. That was the commitment, 18 months. And I thought, I can do that before going to college and you know, starting my like real life. But 18 months turned into almost eight years. And I had these incredible experiences of traveling all around the world, 23 different countries in that time. And you know, it was great. But here's my thought on that. It was so much easier to be a missionary when it was my full-time job. You know, you are, you are talking about God, you're sharing God with other people, you're constantly in prayer, you know, you had to be constantly in prayer. And it was so much easier. But what about the mom who, you know, gets up first thing in the morning and has to get her kids off to school and then has a job outside the house and, you know, has to think about dinner and, and, and you know, the laundry that's piling up and so on and so forth. And when that became my mission field, that's when I really started to struggle. And I found out that I'm not alone in that. A lot of women struggle with that. Am I less of a missionary now than I was when I was out in a foreign country somewhere? No, but I thought I was. It is so much harder to take time to find God in the mundane, everyday chores of life. We get so busy and we get so wrapped up in everything that's going on. And I'll tell you, when I'm on my third or fourth trip down to the school in any given day, I mean, thank God it's only a couple miles down the road. But when I'm in that moment, I'm not feeling like a missionary. Until I realize that being somebody's wife and mother and daughter and sister and teacher and you know volunteer and all of these things, that doesn't define who I am. That's how I live my mission. That's how I walk out my mission life. But that's not who God says I am. Colossians 3.12 says that I am chosen and loved by God just as you are. So if you are chosen and loved by God in the middle of your mission field, whatever that happens to be, then your only response to knowing how cherished and loved and how, how, just how much God loves us, your only response can be to bring him into that moment. That's what makes you a missionary in the now. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I struggled with for a long time, figuring out who I was and how I was living out my missionary calling in the, in the everyday. So what I would like to know from you is, how are you living out your call to be a missionary? You know, Mary wasn't always following Jesus into the synagogues and into the streets and watching him teach and preach. She was wiping his nose and, and mending his hurt, scraped knee, you know, and that was, that was a very powerful mission. So the next time your family's driving you crazy <laughs> and asking too much of you, think about those moments. Like that's where you're a missionary and that's where you're living out your call and know that you're doing a good job being a missionary mom.